The margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves and they want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. Don't be afraid to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You have to believe that something different can happen. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. That most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. You have to dig deep down, dig deep down, and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? And figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide, 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 decide. What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. Alright, today I want to get into actually taking the risk. A lot of times we don't take the right risk because we're just scared. We either scared of the results of after that risk happened, what's going to happen. We feel that we will be embarrassed on the outcome, or we just don't take that risk at all. And it messes with our future. It messes up with what's painted for us to be successful in life. So I'm going to give you a quick story on not taking risks, not asking for help, complaining, and not coming up with the solution to the problem. So I was actually at a party, and... The girls ran out of toilet paper. It was a long line in the bathroom, right? And I'm getting somewhere with the story now. So now everybody was there, lined up, all the females. So what I did was I took the paper towel because everybody was complaining about it was no tissue. So I say, well, here's some paper towels. I grabbed the paper towels and I balled it up. I opened it. I balled it up and I opened it. I balled it up and I opened it. I did that several times. And I actually showed this girl this trick on how to soften up paper so I could turn it into a soft tissue. Once I did that, then I was able to show them that I can actually turn this into something really beneficial to them. She was contemplating on using it or not. And she was like, oh, I don't know if I should use it. Let me touch it. She wanted to touch it, feel it. She was like, I don't know. Is that soft? I mean, it feels soft. And then the whole time while she's talking, somebody was like, I'll take it. Grabbed it out of my hand, went to the bathroom and used it and came back like, oh, my God, that was amazing. So the point of my story is not the point that it was no toilet tissue for the ladies, but the fact that one she was brave enough to ask me for help. So lesson number one, knowing when you need help, do not be too prideful to ask for help. That's number one. Number two, solving the problem. Do not sit here and complain, complain, complain. It's always about the solution to the problem, to the issue. I helped them solve that problem because they ask and I use my brain. So once I found the solution to that issue, I then presented it to the person 
and then somebody seen the opportunity and they took it while that person was procrastinating and thinking too long. Like Snoop Dogg said, study long, study wrong. And what happened? Somebody ended up taking her opportunity that I presented to her and off her issue and her problem and they went off with it and literally took her situation straight out of her hands. So you guys got to think, how many times that happened to your life where you just have an issue and you're complaining about the issue and you're not worrying about the problem and solving that issue and you're sitting here dwelling on the issue and you keep complaining and complaining and complaining like something different is going to happen for you, but it never happens for you. And then you actually ask for help and you finally are getting the help, but you're sitting back and you're thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and overthinking and you end up not getting anything at all. Now all of a sudden, you don't have no opportunity in front of you anymore because you done thought so long, somebody seen it and pulled the trigger and actually made a quick decision, jumped on it, and then hauled ass with your opportunity. So I know a lot of you guys are thinking, damn, that sounds like me. Because I've been in situations like that before and I had to learn my lesson. Thinking too long and end up missing out. So now you have to practice to make decisions within 60 seconds. Quick. You'll be surprised how amazing this is going to work for your life. And when you make that decision, make sure when you make it, you don't think about it no more. It's done. Quick decisions. Because once you make those quick decisions, you're able to move forward in life faster instead of sitting down overthinking the issue now you are overanalyzing and you're putting things into the equation that's not even in the equation and then you miss out on the opportunity i know i broke it down and and actually had a actual breakdown of toilet tissue and paper towels but that really goes to all walks of life all situations not asking for help when you need help. You sitting down and trying to figure it all out by yourself when in reality you one phone call away from asking John or, or, or Devin or whoever on some help that you know they can help you in. You have to utilize your resources. So if you know somebody can help you, do not be scared to reach out and ask for help. Some of the richest people in the world, they ask for help. They ask for advice. They ask for feedback. They are not scared to actually ask for anything if they need it. Us as people, especially the urban community, we actually are scared to ask people for things. We feel like, oh, no, nah, I'm too good for that. Or, no, nah, I'm straight. I figure it out by myself. But two heads is better than one. Three heads is better than two and so on. And so forth. So you have to utilize the people that's smart and intelligent around you and ask for help when you need help. Simple. And when you see an opportunity that presents itself, don't think too hard about it. Don't study long. Don't study wrong. <laughs> My Snoop Dogg voice. Do not study too long, man, because you miss out on your opportunity. It was another, it was Dan Pinga. I was on this actual page and on his Instagram page, and he was showing a video. It was a herd going by, and it was actually a lion sitting down, watching the prey, waiting for the right moment. And and you guys probably even seen this video, but you just see the cattle just running by, just running by, the prey just running by, just running by, just running by, just running by. And you keep seeing all, like all these opportunities just in front of them. All these opportunities, it had to have been like 200 cattle or whatever ran by, and the lion was just waiting there. And then the lion, another lion just came out of nowhere and just attacked the herd and just grabbed him his prey and just ripped it up in shreds and took his dinner back home to his family. So how many of you guys are in that same situation where you see opportunities after opportunities just presenting itself, presenting itself, presenting itself, and you don't jump for it? You do not go for it and you end up having somebody else run off with your food, with your prey for your dinner, for your family and something that could have fed them for months or weeks. And you just missed out on that opportunity because you overthinking or you procrastinating. Do not be the master of procrastination. I know plenty of individuals that's like that. You have to figure out how to break that habit. If you're a procrastinator. 
and your opportunities are slipping you by, that might, that might be an opportunity to change your life forever. But you don't jump on it because you're too busy procrastinating. You're figuring out a way why you shouldn't do it, why it's not working, why nothing is actually working for you, right? You not really understanding it. And you're like, wow, why am I not getting blessed? I'm doing everything I need to do. Why am I not getting blessed? I'm working so hard, so hard, but nothing is coming to me. But in reality, you got time after time, opportunity after opportunity, and you didn't go for it. So I think it's three lessons in today that I really want to pinpoint, which is learning how to ask for help when you need help. Do not be scared. Please do not be scared. Utilize the people that's around you. Utilize mentors. You know, utilize friends and your peers. If you need help with, it might be coming up with a name for your company. It might be, you know, uh, help on finances and like taxes on how things work and, and what work for you and things like that. It might be something where you're like, hey, you know, do you know, about raising capital or do you know anyone who might need help whatever your business is whatever that is you might want to send a text blast and say hey what do you think about my brand new website and get some feedback that's one always ask for help secondly say this again do not procrastinate if you see an opportunity and everything pans out like it works out just right for you, go for it. Do not overthink. Try to make your decisions within 60 seconds. Try it for one week, seven days. Try it. Let me know how you feel about it. It's probably going to be the best. If not, it's going to be the best decisions that you ever are making in your life because you're making decisions quickly and you're able to move faster and more proficiently because now you actually have this skill set that you're building on to make decisions quick. You're quick on your feet. And last thing is coming up with the solution to your problems. Do not dwell on it. What the old school people say, don't cry over spoiled milk because it's gone. It's over with. Be a solution-based person. Be the person that actually comes up with solutions to the problems that you have. Instead of always complaining about it like, man, this thing is happening. This keep happening. Or I'll keep telling him not to do this and do that. Figure out a way to talk and solve the problem. If you try this, it didn't work, all right, now try this. All right, that didn't work, now try this. If that didn't work, now try this. And you keep trying to figure out a way to solve the problem because if you keep going head to head, whether it could be a person, it could be an animal, a kid, or whatever, you keep going head to head with this person, a kid, or, or whatever, and you keep coming at it the same way that hasn't been working. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting for a different result. So figure out a way to approach it in different ways. Everything I do is test, 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 test. Business, family, personal, everything, test. Same thing with this. Test it out. Test five things out. You know, your boyfriend not spending time with you, then try to do something he want to do. Try to do more of the things that he want to do. If that don't work, all right, cool. Uh, try to support him more. If that don't work, cool. Let's try something else. Let's try to, you know, throw some sex in there. Or give him more sex. You know, wake him up with some sex. Like, let him go to sleep to some sex. Maybe that might work. If that don't work, all right, cool. Maybe you want to go out and go experience some new things that you haven't experienced before. Like, I don't know. Try several different things to see how can you connect to get what you want. Like, all this stuff is super powerful stuff that is used every single day that works like a charm. You know, this is all stuff that worked really, really well. So that's it for the podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. This is Spectacular Smith, and I'm signing off for the Spectacular Experience. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys review and share this link with somebody who you feel like could actually benefit off of this. I love you guys. Spectacular. I'm out. Peace.